Hello, and welcome to Delta Costline's General Ledger year-end closing process video. By the end of this video, you will know how to roll forward General Ledger beginning balances and how to close your fiscal year when desired. First, we will discuss rolling the General Ledger balances forward and then closing the fiscal year. Finally, we will finish with the Frequently Asked Questions section. The calendar year-end regulatory updates will be available sometime in December. Please note that the dates used in this video may reflect previous or future years. Now, for the necessary steps for closing the general ledger. Under Accounting, General Ledger, General Ledger Controls, select Configure General Ledger Settings. Before we roll forward our general ledger beginning balances, it is important to note the retained earnings account to which the income and expense accounts will close. This is found in the General Ledger Controls Configure General Ledger Settings screen. Here, we see that the account 00312 is designated as the retained earnings account. Now, let's go to the Manage Account screen. In the Manage Account screen, accounts are designated with an account type. If the account type is Asset, Liability, or Stockholders' Equity, the ending balances will be brought forward and shown as beginning balances in the new year. If the account types are Labor, Income, or Non-Labor Expense, these values will be closed to the retained earnings account designated in the Configure General Ledger Settings screen. There is a related topic pertaining to closing the fiscal year. You may find it within cost point by going into any GL screen and hitting Shift and F1 at the same time. A cost point online help window will appear. Click on the three lines in the top left corner of the screen. Scroll to the General Ledger Overview. Next, click on Related Topics in the General Ledger section. Look for Closing the Fiscal Year and click on it. Please use this related topic to help you in closing your fiscal year, as it holds valuable information. Now, we may proceed to the Update General Ledger Beginning Balances screen. Click on Update General Ledger Beginning Balances found in Accounting, General Ledger, General Ledger Beginning Balances section. This screen is used to roll forward ending balances from one year and show them as beginning balances in the next year. This screen may be run more than once, in fact, it may be run as often as necessary before closing the fiscal year. Enter the year you wish to roll forward in the selected fiscal year box. Press the tab key and the fiscal year to be updated automatically appears as the next year. In order for this to appear correctly, you must have entered the new fiscal year in the General Ledger Company Calendar Manage Fiscal Year screen and its corresponding accounting period and subperiod information. If you are going to close the fiscal year at this time, you would check the Set Fiscal Year Status to be Closed checkbox and choose a rate type, either Actual or Target. The fiscal year may only be closed after all accounting periods are set to a closed status, meaning that you have closed each accounting period through the Closed Period screen. At this time, I will not close the fiscal year. I only want to roll forward beginning balances. For print options, you may select the print subtotals checkbox, and for sort order, you may choose either account or organization. You have the option to show either all balances or changed balances only. Looking at the preview screen, you can see what the system will print in this example. In order to run the update process, you must actually print the report either to paper or to a file. Once printed and the report thoroughly reviewed, the gears may be hit to update the general ledger beginning balances. The process is now complete. Now for those clients who separate retained earnings accounts into current year returnings and prior year retained earnings, you must go to the Manage Non-Project Beginning Balances screen and query your new fiscal year. Then manually add the beginning amount of your current year retained earnings line to the figure existing in the prior year retained earnings line. You must also zero out the beginning amount column of your current year retained earnings line and save. Now, your retained earnings information on your new year reports will appear correctly. Here, you will find a list of frequently asked questions. Please review them at your leisure. Simply pause the video to read the screen and then hit play to resume the video. We hope they will help with your year-end closing process for the general ledger. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions, Cost Point Customer Success is ready to assist. Call our customer success number at 877-457-7765.
Thank you for attending this video on Dell Tech Cost Points year-end closing process for the general ledger.